She's got something entered here today. Yeah, the sculpture competition, according to her letter. Yeah, really? Hmm, apparently it goes for three days. It's very popular. So it would seem. What are they doing here? Oh, maybe they're just having a day out like us. Funny. But that's impossible. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. The rules are clear. Uh, informal wear limited? Uh, right, yeah. So, how's it all going? Oh, awful, don't ask. Why, what's wrong? They've only put back the judging six hours. I thought it was for 11 o'clock. So did I. Mm. Except I've just found out it's for five o'clock. Oh. oh, that's okay. We can look around the show. Yeah, sure, we don't mind. But that's not the point. The competition's for working new materials. So, I've done an ice sculpture. Ice? You mean ice is in frozen? Oh no. This gnome that I've worked on. A it's gnome. a new yeah, a sort of garden gnome. And it won't keep. Oh, not in this weather, no. By five o'clock I'd be lucky to be left with his ears. But they can't do that. Change the time without telling you. Oh well, it seems they they did send me a letter, except I lost it. <laughs> I know, I know. Same old me. Oh, it's just that I worked so hard on this I could cry. Don't suppose you could change the time back again? I'm sorry, it's impossible. I simply couldn't contact the other judges before 11 anyway. Yes. And there are other people to consider, you see. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Well, very well. Well, that's that. Six hours to judging, and the longest I could possibly hope for would be three to four. Well, before it melts. Yeah. There's no refrigeration? Oh, that's the first thing I check. There's, there's nothing that's suitable. Well, what about a minook? In town? I hadn't thought of that. Well, what, it's only 15 minutes away. There's bound to be a service station, shop, or something open. Yeah, right. It's worth a try. Now, I promise not to laugh, both of you. This is Albert. Ta-da! Lose! He's brilliant, do you think? Yeah, he's very fetching. It's just a pity no one's going to get to see him. Oh, now, come on. He hasn't even got a shine on his nose yet. Soon we'll have if he's left out here. Yeah, once the sun starts getting hotter. Be like a sauna. Yeah, I know. What do you suggest? Um, why don't Rick and I take him to the hall? Yeah, I'm sure the lady wouldn't mind. No. Yeah, well, you check in town. OK. And in the meantime, we'll see what else we can come up with. <laughs> don't worry, Luz. We haven't lost a gnome yet. Hello? Well, what have we got here? Uh, oh, this is Albert. Is it? Yes, we thought we might leave him somewhere here, if that's okay. But only for a while. Well... Just that this seems the coolest. Well, provided nobody can fall over him. Oh, there's no worries about that. Well, I suppose at the other end of the hall, perhaps. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, he's quite a friendly fellow in a quaint way. Do you think? Well, it would be a shame to see him melt. Yes. Uh. Speaking of friendly fellows, is that Vortex's van we saw outside? Mr. Vortex? Ah, oh, yes, sir. Valerian is designing a new tray to help sell our home produce this year. Oh, I see. Hmm. Why do you know him? Ah, uh, yeah, you could say. Well, he comes highly recommended, apparently. I'm sure. Yeah. Valerian. 
Mary. <laughs> 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. <laughs> right, that's one hour, Plankton. I should hope so. You've now been carrying the tray for one hour exactly. Feels more like 20. Yes, well, never mind. It's time to inspect the produce. Uh, pie? Pie. <laughs> Plankton, this pie is stone cold. Is it? Ice cream. Ice cream. It's the same temperature as the pie, Plankton. Is it? Yes. Plankton, you've got them all packed together. Yeah, I know. You can fit more in that way. Oh, yes, and how are we going to keep the pies hot and the ice creams cold if we've got them side by side? <sighs> Why me? Shall we try again? Hi. Hi, how'd you go? No good. We forgot. Saturday, practically everywhere is closed. And the one place open, the service station, where their ice box had broken down, hadn't it? Oh, no. Oh, how's it going? Not fantastic. No. He's lost the creases in his hat. Oh. And his nose has shrunk a bit. Oh, yes. Oh. He's not going to last, is he? Not till five o'clock at this rate. I mean, there's just nowhere else to put him now. No. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. His feet seem OK. Oh, Albert, I'm so sorry. We did try. Yeah. You know, what did you say just then? When? Uh, something about his feet. Oh, uh, underneath, where it's touching, well, it's hardly melted. I wonder why. Because of the wood, that's why. Of course. The wooden base is acting as an insulator. Against conduction from the air. Yeah, or convection. <laughs> Excuse this poor ignorant artist. Conduction, convection of what? Of heat. Huh? Well, the contact with the wooden base is preventing the heat from getting to the ice and melting it. I see. Heat's transmitted over three waves. Radiation across distances, convection through fluids, or conduction through solids. Yes. There's probably all three operating here in the woods stuffing it. But what does this mean? I'm going to be left with a whole pair of boots? Not if we can help it. In fact, you'll end up with the whole gnome. I wonder if she'd mind us using some of this stuff. For a moment. Oh, Miss Abernathy. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to see how things were progressing. Oh, oh splendidly, splendidly. Yeah. I, I couldn't wish for anything better. No, no. Oh, no. it <laughs> certainly looks rather grand. Oh, well, I, I don't know about that. I oh, mean, I, I do admire a man of science. Oh, well, you know, it's just a matter of grasping the principles, yes. <laughs> then we're all set for Monday. Monday? Yes, when we're hoping to sell all those hot pies and ice cream. Monday? Oh, but of course, madam, yes, Monday, Monday, of course, yes. Oh, the <laughs> ladies' auxiliary are counting upon us. Oh, well, we uh, mustn't disappoint the ladies now, must we? Oh, <laughs> most surely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll have good reason to be satisfied, yes, yes. I'm certain. <laughs> I'll call by later. But any time, Miss Abernathy, any time. Oh, please. Margaret. Margaret. Bye. 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 <laughs> Frank, did you get the other pies and ice creams? Oh, what took you so long? You kept me wa... <laughs> Just what's so funny? How's it going? I think it's having some effect. Is it? Oh, yes, his hat's definitely slowed down. You were right about the foam, it is better. Yeah? Pity we haven't got any more. Oh, that's all I could find, unfortunately. Well, what do you reckon? It's uh, nearly one. Four hours to go. Listen, we've been wrapping things round him to keep the cold in, right? <coughs> to 
keep the heat out, actually. Oh, sorry, keep the heat out. And the problem with the foam, which seems to be the best, is that it's not flexible enough, right? Yeah, and it leaves gaps, because they always... Well, don't... why don't we use little bits of foam and pack it all around? What kind of little bits of foam? These. I think it's pure genius. 58, 59 and 60. Right, now that's one hour again precisely. Is that correct, Plankton? Now, we have the hot pies on one side and the cold ice creams on the other this time, except we've added a little more ice because it's the afternoon and getting warmer. Good. Now, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Parents, attractive. Texture, firm. Taste, cold. <laughs> not bad, Plankton, not bad at all. Right, now. Hi. Hi. Appearance, attractive, texture, mm -hmm. firm, taste, plankton. This pie is frozen stiff. Just how much ice did you put in this thing? I said a little bit. Oh, yeah. ah! <laughs> uh, we're gonna have fun trying to get all these beans back in this bag. What? Good luck, Albert. Voila! Instant essence. Perfect. Any change? In the melting. Well, there's a definite improvement in the last 15 minutes. Oh, is there? Yep. Well, I think it still needs something else just to be on the safe side. Uh, some straw around the outside, perhaps? Mm, perhaps. Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? What is? Well, the damp part. Oh, there's just the draft from the door, I think. Oh. What? The moisture, where the ice is melted. It's just evaporating in the breeze. Kalgoorlie. What? Uh, not Kalgoorlie, Coolgardie. Coolgardie safe. Don, what are you talking about? Damp cloth in a strong breeze causes cooling through evaporation. Oh, yes. They have them on cars in the outback. Oh, the canvas bags on the radio. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we need, a Coolgardie safe. Reckon you're right. Now we'll need some damp cloth. Oh, I saw some muslin on one of the stores before. Be fine. Oh, I'm sure they'd lend us some. They had heaps. Right, and uh, some sort of frame. Like a cage? Yes. Well, there are these chicken cages near where I got that foam from. Perfect. All right, let's do it. Oh, right, yeah, let's go. Which way? Oh, no, no, there. Oh, yeah, I'll start on the floor. 23. Now, according to this Newton fella, the rate of cooling is directly proportionate to the difference in temperature between the object and its surrounding atmosphere. So, so presumably, the same must also apply to the rate of heating. So, if we can... Ah, <laughs> oh, Mrs Abernathy, yes. Everything's going just tickety-boo. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> so, if, if we can but create alternate atmospheres of warm and cool temperatures, we have it! Hey? Independent energy sources, the solution to our problem. <laughs> yeah, well, there. Okay, now make sure Albert's in the middle. Yep, he's fine. Throw the muslin over. Gosh, I hope it stays moist. Yeah, so do I. You better remember where all this stuff came from afterwards. Too. Yes, I know we've got half the show here. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I wrote it down. Oh, yeah. somewhere. Good one, Luce. Now let's check and see if the breeze is okay. And Kazan, your original Coolgardie safe. Well, what do we do now? Five past two. Wait, I guess. Keep our fingers crossed. Will you come here, Plankton? Oh, come and hold still, boy. Hold still, will you? It's burning me. Oh, boy, right here, look. Yeah, I'll chop it down a bit. How's that? How's that? It's still hot. Oh, well, you can't have everything, Plankton. See? Now, let me see. I think we may need... Another pantry, just to be on the safe side, yes. You don't think it's heavy enough as it is? Oh, nonsense, Plankton. Besides, we've got the fan to go yet. Fan? The fan? What? My goodness, what's that? Uh, homemade fridge, you could say. I see. I thought you might have had a giant cocky inside. <laughs> no, just a full-size gnome, hopefully. Rather than a reduced one. 
Well, it's almost five o'clock. Yes. Well, you should be starting to move on down there. I suppose. If you're going. What do you think? Got to have a look sometime. Yeah. Come on. Let's find out the worst. Okay. Well, uh, I'll probably see you down there. Yes. And good luck. Thanks. Okay, got it. Isn't it? Oh, I just hope it isn't a disappearing one. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Let's hope. Ta-da! He's okay. Well, he's got a couple of rough spots. Oh, that's all right. right. And his ears have all but disappeared. Oh, he's beautiful. He's practically perfect. I can't believe it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. Luce! Yeah? You got three minutes. Oh, gosh, have I? Um... Can you give me a hand, please? Hey, it's in the paper. What is? The results of the show yesterday. Hang on. Art and craft section, sculpture, new materials. First prize, A. Daniel, second prize, Elfiori. That's Lucy. Is that? Yes. She got second prize. Second prize, really? <laughs> She'll be wrapped. Great. The best she dared hope for was honourable mention. Yeah, I wonder how old Albert feels. <gasps> Alas, poor Albert. Yeah, no, that's really good. Second yes. prize. I must remember to write to her. What's that you're doing? Oh, just something I promised the lady at the show I'd have a look at. A food tray? Hmm. Hmm. Isn't that what Valerian was doing? Uh, I believe so. Don't tell me. Insulation. Yep, using polystyrene foam. Hmm. Looks very simple. I wonder what they came up with. Oh, I'm not quite sure, but from what I gathered from the lady, she just wanted a second opinion. Well, you want to know what was in 